This is Mikey Buzan, and I'm messing around in Resolum. The first thing to do is to find some footage to drop in, and I'm going to be playing with my VJ loops from the Super Creature Pack. It's as easy as just literally dropping it into this column here. Click it, and then down here on the bottom left, you can see the output monitor. I've only messed around in Resolum a couple hours, but already I'm finding cool things to do with stuff with layering and testing out effects so I'm gonna be building some weird scenes right now and just to show what you can do so up here is your layers just like an animation uh, in an animation program where you have layers and what's on top will be on top and then so this V thing right here is the opacity level. So if I bring it down, the first guy's not showing up. Bring it all the way up, then he's in front. What I was doing today was just building out scenes just over here in the bottom right where you have effects. There's all kinds of effects you can try out. And you scroll down, find things to click on. And this preview monitor down on the very, very bottom left will show what it would look like if you apply the effect. So you can get some kind of instant results just by clicking on these different effects. Um, one I really liked was the tunnel stuff. So you come up here in the search bar, you can search for your favorite effects. And so it creates like a 3D tunnel I'm guessing it somehow um, texture maps this 2D animation onto some kind of 3D type of model that, that comes into the screen. So this is really interesting to experiment with. Um, you can kind of make like a wormhole. So when you find one that you like, you just drag it and over here in this middle section you just drop it in and it'll apply the effect and now I actually applied it to layer 2 so I'm gonna also put it on put the one of the tunnels on layer 1 which is this purple spinny guy with the three eyes and now uh, should be doing something let's see here there we go. Um, then this background, I just dropped a space thing. Uh, like I said, I haven't spent a ton of time on this program. But if you want some free animation clips to experiment with yourself, you can check out the link in the description box below. They'll, you can get five clips that I made. And, oh, that's why I have the opacity all the way down. There we go. So, yeah, get some weird effects like this. Now, of course, this program is for live projections and doing performances. But um, I'm finding ways to record these little things that you build out and uh, make some new loops out of them. I'm gonna drop in a full, fully animated background because uh, you can get some pretty cool effects with that. So I'll go into my background packs and uh, let's see, how about uh, Dream Machine? We'll see what this looks like. And so now I can put it in layer one and double click it and now it's selected but if I wanted to go back to this guy I just click on him so now I've got this thing I do this one on actual physical paper and then it was just copy paper but then um, I inverted the colors to where the black to where the white of the paper would be black and then all the other line work would be the opposite complementary colors um, well, that's weird. Cube tiles. 
But yeah, like I said, there's a ton of different... Whoa. So yeah, see, this is like texture mapping the animation onto this 3D model. But um, it's just like tons of instant results you can get by dropping in any kind of footage. I mean, you could drop in live footage too. So RGB delay. And just get instant effects. Now, normally I just animate in TV paint, but this program is opening up whole new ways to expand on these traditionally 2D animated things. Well, when I say traditionally animated, most of it's animated on a Cintiq, but it's still done by hand. It's just drawing by hand on a Wacom tablet. But this, uh, these types of effects, it causes you to think differently about how it would mash up with music, because like that, that see that psych, that trippy thing that could happen during an intense part of a song, because music is is really visual in a way, like all the all the sounds and textures. If you close your eyes, you'll probably imagine something. And in a way, colors and art are musical. Like uh, warm, there's there's warm colors and cold colors, and then there's like major chords and minor chords. And the cold colors are kind of like minor chords, and the warm, happy colors are like happy major chords. Oh, here's a cool one. Yeah, terrain. This is what I was doing before. So this one's really interesting. Uh, you can really get a lot of different effects with these parameters down here. Like uh, the direction, you can change what direction it's going. And with the jagginess, can, you can change how jaggy it is, how spiky it is. So it's kind of like mountains now. You can change the speed, make stuff, you know, going slow. And the attenuation is like how how it fades in. Um, but it kind of reminds me of like slightly better Nintendo 64 graphics. And here, like uh, the direction, you can change what direction it's going and with the jagginess can you can change how jaggy it is how spiky it is so it's kind of like mountains now you can change the speed make stuff you know going slow and the attenuation is like how how it fades in um but it kind of reminds me of like slightly better Nintendo 64 graphics. And uh, the tilt, you can change the tilt of it. And let's see, position Y changes like how close it is to you. Oh, and the, that's the flatness of it. And of course, if you were doing a live performance, you could be tweak, messing around these parameters down here in sync with the music in real time, analog. Like it's not predetermined. You have to be know the song well and to match it up with the beats. But yeah, it's it's pretty fun. And then up here, this thing that's playing is the actual source file of the animation. So if I wanted to, you could just find a frame of the video that you like and then pause it. And now the video won't be playing anymore, but the effect will still be going. So if you can just achieve a different desired tone and mood with this. Or and then you can click this thing that makes it all random frames. It's kind of seizure inducing, but that's another f effect and let's add the terrain on this 
So yeah, like different video files will react differently to these effects. Um, this character that I'm doing the terrain effect on now, since he is just a loop with a transparent background, all the, the parts of the screen that is transparent isn't going to be texture mapped onto this 3D of terrain effect. So there's all these black gaps, but it can, you could layer this on top of something else and like this. So now it looks like it's like a ribbony thing flying through space. And let's see what happens. Whoa. So, I mean, it, of course you can layer effects too. So I just layered the terrain effect on top of the tunnel effect. Um, but some effects don't really pair up too good. Um, I think that one has a little too much nonsense going on, but I'm going to try one more thing. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you want a few f clips to experiment with in Resolume or After Effects or any program, can join my email list in the subscription in the description box below and you'll be sent some some freebies so there's the RGB looks pretty cool so yeah I'll be back with some more videos I'm working on animation tutorials uh, an album of songs, a bunch of music videos. It's just been kind of crazy. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.